Well, right now the system is very much in flux. The gas contracts that are out there are a bunch of legacy contracts for long-term supply from some of the traditional uh, LNG projects, but also U.S. supply. And the U.S. supply is quite disruptive because it's on an entirely different pricing basis. It brings tolling volumes that can go anywhere and not dedicated to any downstream contract. And so the market is trying to find a way to uh, put both systems together and to bring this LNG to market and to make sure that all the customers get their LNG and there's a lot of it. There's just a quite a large glut that everyone knows about in LNG for a period of time. And so I think the presence of US LNG together with traditional volumes means that you have different priced LNG and trying to work that through the system in a way that makes sense for the ultimate customer is a big challenge for the market right now. LNG buyers always want a low price. Um, they have got to worry about volume risk. So the buyers traditionally have got to worry that they buy this LNG and they're going to be able to turn it into gas and consume it or sell it on to someone else who buys the LNG. Number one concern. The best protection for that is having low priced LNG. So the buyer's primary concern is price, but their secondary concerns, and this is where the market has gotten very interesting, are around flexibility. So are there any restrictions on the LNG? What can I do with it? How can I trade it? How can I optimize the shipping around it to save money? How can I put it with the rest of my portfolio? How can I resell it? So I think the terms are important, but buyers are primarily interested today in price. Well, the customers are still the same customers um, on the whole. So Japan and Korea, now China, and soon to be India, are going to be the largest consuming area in Asia, just like it's been for a long time. So in many ways, um, the trade will be of the future will be similar to the trade of today. But the trade routes that are opening up, obviously, are going to have to take into account US LNG and the new demand. So where is the new demand? On the whole, everyone's looking to Southeast Asia, like the New Deal in Pakistan. So you have a new large consumption point there. They're looking to grow um, LNG demand in Bangladesh, in Myanmar, in Thailand, all over Southeast Asia. But they're also looking to places like Africa and Gibraltar and places in the Mediterranean to spur new demand. And so this means the fleets will have to go to destinations they haven't gone to before. They'll have different trade routes to where they're getting there and they'll have different supply sources like the US. So I think the system is changing somewhat, albeit it's still an Asian based trade and still most of the vessels are going to and from Asia.